hello guys welcome to my channel once again i am cn on and you are watching cn great councils and forex trades uh, in today's video um, we are going to talk about how to identify the trend of a market like a pro and um, we are using boom and crash market as case studies actually this is a requested video and um, um, I like keeping to my words to my promises and this channel um, is actually ready to provide you not just with profitable um, strategies but also tips and counsels on how you can become a successful trader uh, with that being said I like to start by saying that basically and very importantly there are four terms in the financial market that uh, the understanding of those terms would make your trading career successful and these terms include trend strategy method and discipline but today we are talking about trend okay however if you want me to make uh, a video that would cover those four basic things then do let me know in the comment section below and i'll gladly uh, make such video now today talking about trend trend is simply the dominant direction of the market basically we have two dominant direction of the market that is uptrend and downtrend the third being uh, choppy which is directionless but moves within a range now if the market is in is in an uptrend a trader should be uh, looking for a buy opportunity and um, if the market is in a, a downtrend if the market is in a downtrend you should be looking for a sell opportunity a potential sell opportunity however you have one of three options of either looking for a sell opportunity a buy opportunity or staying away from the market if the market is choppy or if the market is a ranging market but it can be so um confusing executing or putting a trade on a lower time frame and uh, only for you to discover that the overall direction of the market is against your trade when checked on a higher time frame so to determine or identify the trend of the market at any time there are seven things you need to do and i'll be covering four of those seven things uh, in today's video and uh, the remaining three uh, in part two of this video because i don't want the video to be uh, too long this is actually going to be the part one of this video how to identify the trend of boom and crash and the financial market generally like a pro so i'm going to cover four of those seven things you need to do uh, in this first video and then in the part two of the video i will take on the remaining three so one of the, the first thing you need to do is to define your trading time frame to identify the trend uh, of the market at any time you need to define your trading time frame and um, this is basically to avoid getting confused as to whether you should buy or sell or as to whether really the market is in an uptrend or downtrend you need to define your trading time frame depending on your trading style obviously if you are a swing trader you really do not have much business with smaller time frame you only switch to uh, lower time frames to look for uh, areas of value to execute your trade after analyzing and seeing the bigger picture and direction of the market um on higher time frames like weekly daily or four hours uh, time frame conversely if you are a, 
an intraday trader or a scalper who only stays in the market for about 5 to 15 minutes then you don't really have much business with higher time frames your analysis can start from one hour time frame down but pay more attention to 15 minutes down okay uh, that is number one number two is that um, you should use a proper zoom level okay the second thing you need to know is that you should use a proper zoom level uh, using a proper zoom level gives you a better picture of the market and also helps you to maintain a consistent um, number of uh, bars or candlesticks on your chart and that also helps you to identify the trend easily although this largely depends on the strategy you are using but i strongly recommend that you use a zoom level that does not um, give you a micro view of the market and at the same time it doesn't give you an extravagant view of the market personally I use the first um, three zoom levels okay mt5 has three zoom I mean uh, five zoom levels on Android phones okay I basically use the first three zoom levels but especially the third zoom level now a lot of traders get confused and is one of the most asked questions what is the zoom level for this strategy and all that and sometimes when you tell um, uh, traders to use a particular zoom level they get confused when they say zoom out they don't know the difference between zooming out and zooming in now let me show you uh, look at the chart now this is when you zoom out when you zoom out the bars or the candlesticks becomes tiny smaller okay this is zoom out I've zoomed out completely as it is now so this is zoom in okay zoom in zoom in okay zoom out okay so this is the first zoom level now this is when you zoom out completely the um, um, candlesticks become smaller this is the first zoom level now when you zoom in once this way this is second zoom level and when you zoom in second time this is the third zoom level so i basically use the first three zoom levels okay but especially this particular one the third zoom level because most of my strategies um are in line with it okay it gives me a proper confirmation and that's why i use it okay so that's the number two thing you need to do to identify the trend of the market at any point in time using a proper zoom level now the third thing you need to do is that you should determine the position and direction of the market now the current position of the market is very very important uh, and um, this also helps you to know if the market has the potential of continuing in its current direction or not here you need to know for instance boom market is it um at the oversold level or is it at the overbought level okay again the zoom level really matters here to um to be able to identify the position of the market now here is a tip for this number okay whatever goes up must come down and whatever goes down must come up now for boom market this is boom okay now the predominant direction of boom market is bearish okay boom market is supposed to be bearish i don't know if you understand that now what takes boom market down okay from the overbought to the oversold from the overbought to the oversold what takes it down is trend and what takes it up from the oversold to the overbought is spikes okay this is trend the red candles for uh, the boom market is the trend going down 
so it is train that takes it down then it is spike that takes it up okay it is spike that takes it up that is it then for crash market um which is pre uh, predominantly bullish it is train that takes it up while crash takes it down now let's check at the crash market this is a uh, crash 1000 okay this is trending now okay it is trend that takes it up but it is crash this rent candlestick is a crash it is crash that brings it down okay so whatever goes up must come down and you have to take that okay now the fourth thing you need to um do which is the last for this video for today we're going to continue with the part two of it because i don't want the video to be that long okay um it's getting long already the fourth thing you need to do is that you need to look at the pap what do i mean by pap you need to have an identify the current position and direction of the market you need to look out for the pap the price action pattern at that level now having determined the position and direction of the market um what exactly is the market doing at that level is it making higher highs and higher lows or is it making lower lows and lower highs or is it even contained within a range those are the questions you should ask and those are the things you should look at for okay now if the market is making higher highs and lower lows just as you can see um, on this picture uh, then you should be uh, you should know that the market is in an uptrend okay if it's making higher highs and higher lows just as you can see in this picture now then the market is in an uptrend and you should be looking for a buy opportunity okay and if the market is making lower lows and lower highs like um you can see in the picture then you should be looking for a sell opportunity and like i said if it's ranging uh, if it's contained within a range then you should either be looking for a buy opportunity or a sell opportunity or better still stay away from the market because a ranging market can be devastating okay so um uh, please do not forget um the um number three okay i did say that you should determine the position and direction of the market okay the position and direction of the market is very 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 important and the zoom level matters a lot because if you for instance let's check a uh, boom 1000 boom 1000 okay okay is currently um okay at all zoom level it is at the overbought level okay it is at the overbought level but let's check um other markets to um explain something okay okay this is boom 500 now okay let me show you what i mean the position and direction of the market at any instant i just want to show you this before we call it a day for today now this is zoom out i zoomed out completely now look at the current position of the market at this zoom level okay this is the current position now look at what will happen if i zoom in once okay i zoomed in once and it's already uh at the over sold level close to the over sold level now let's zoom in twice okay zooming in twice is still approaching the over sold level now zoom again do you understand now that the position of the market is changing it's changing so that is why you really need to make proper use of uh, a proper zoom level so that you get the um correct picture of the market okay uh, with that being said let's just take a recap 
of the four things you need to do i did say that to identify the trend of the market at any point in time you need to define your trading time frame secondly you need to use a proper zoom level thirdly you need to determine the position and uh, direction of the market and uh, the fourth thing you need to do is that you need to look out for the pap the price action pattern at that level so those are the first four things you need to do to identify the trend of a market at a particular time so we are going to continue um, next time uh, in the part two of this particular uh, series so how to identify the trend of uh, the market like a pro okay uh, in the meantime i remain cn owner and you are watching cn great councils and forex trade and if you are new on this channel i'd like you to um, subscribe to this channel and um, hit the, the notification button so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first to watch it please don't forget that it doesn't take you anything extra to subscribe to a channel like this and i want to promise you once again i will keep to my words and i'll be providing you with profitable uh, strategies tips and counsels on how to um, become a successful uh, forex trader okay next week i'm going to uh, I'll make a video that will allow you to take uh, 15 candlesticks per trade okay and you are going to be having up to like eight or nine entries per day so I'm working on that strategy and it's almost ready so please if you found value in any of my videos uh, just like these ones please I like you to like the videos share with your friends so that um, they can see the possibility of making profits in the financial market please share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel and then i'll see you in my next video many thanks for watching guys bye for now